What is going on guys? Rory here at Rory Wellbound Gaming and I'm putting another absolutely epic tutorial out for you guys which is learning you guys how to track animals, how to use their need zones on an absolutely epic hunting simulation game called Way of the Hunter. But ladies and gentlemen, in the meantime, if you guys could hit that subscription button if you could also give the video a like and make sure you guys are hitting that bell notification to be notified of all content I do put up on the channel in the future. Do let me know down below as well in the comment section of how you have learned from the game or learned from this tutorial. Let's get into this. So first of all, need zones. This is the big thing what a lot of people and I've heard a lot of people are struggling with. So going to the map, what we're going to do, we're going to use Mule Day just as an example. Um, we'll use these Mule Day first. So most animals do have two of each need zones. So basically, first of all, resting, feeding, and drinking. So again, they've got two rest to feed, to drink. So generally what happens with these, they are, when you discover them, when you go around finding all of the need zones for your specific herd, they will have, again, a rest, a feed, and a drink. So, these will be either often that you discover or rarely. So often, basically meaning that they most likely, nine times out of ten, will be there at their correct time. So their correct times, I will show you a little later in the video. So right now, what I know, or basically when you do go in the encyclopedia, so for mule deer, they rest, then they feed, then they drink. Okay? So basically, what you have to determine is which ones are your oftens. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to call these three, my three oftens. So basically what they will do, they will travel from there to there to there. Okay. But if you, for example, find them at their resting area and you shoot a lot of animals in their resting area, that will change from an often to a rarely. So again, for the purpose of the video, that's often, this one's rarely. So if you've overshot this area, that one there, that will change from an often to a rarely, and now your rarely has now changed to an often. I hope you're following along. So again, this could stay as a often, and that could stay as an often, which nine times out of ten, it will. It won't change unless... You have overshot those two areas as well. So what will happen now is they will have a huge journey to go from this one, which is now, because you've overshot the previous one. This now isn't often. They've got to travel from there all the way over to here. And then from there, again, back to there. So it is pretty straightforward to know how the need zones work. So if we go to the encyclopedia, go to animals, and again, go to mule deer. So again, looking at the life cycle, you can see basically where it says um, the time from 000, which is midnight, they shall be resting. So they'll be resting from midnight till 5 a.m. Now, they're going to be feeding from 5 a.m. till 9 a.m. They'll be drinking from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. Then they'll be drinking, sorry, they'll be resting from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And feeding from 5 p.m. up until 10 p.m., which after 10 p.m., they will be drinking up until midnight. And then the cycle, basically, it's just a rinse and repeat process. Every single time, they never, ever change. They will always be... But do bear in mind, always give them either an hour before or an hour after. So, if, for example, you go on to check out the first feed, 
which is 5 a.m. I would be there at 4 a.m. So I'd wait from 4 a.m. And I'd wait all the way up until 10 p.m. Now, if that hasn't worked, something is seriously wrong. There's something seriously wrong within either your herd or your need zone. You haven't basically determined correctly which is your often and which is your rarely. So make sure you know which ones are your rarelys, which ones are your oftens. So basically, that is it for the need zones. It is pretty simple. Um, I've learned this over 200 hours into the game now. So I do believe what I've learned of 200 hours is reassuring for you guys. I do. It's what works for me. So basically, I'm just passing my knowledge on. Now the next one. Tracking. Animal tracking. These things. Called slots. Or footprints. So basically, these footprints here, they are mule deer. Over in the top right hand corner, mule deer. So now what you've got to determine, which way your mule deer are walking. So, with mule deer, there's a lot of other different footprints, obviously for each different animal. They all have their own unique set of footprints or slots. So to determine, this is all down to you guys to learn which ones are heading in a forward or backward direction. So this, mule deer. As I know with mule deer, this is heading in that direction. Because mule deer, they do have two toes at the back of their hoof. And obviously at the front of the hoof. So you know... The two toenails in the back and the hoof in the front. So we know they are heading in that direction. So let's just say for argument's sake, we're going to look behind us. We are going to say they are coming from that direction from a drink zone. Okay? So on Mule Day, from a drink zone, where are they going to be heading? They are going to be heading... To rest so for the purpose of the video we're going to just call this area on the left hand side basically here all the way there we're going to use that as a rest area so coming from drink to rest they are heading from behind us so they're going to come this way so if you guys are setting up on a rest and thinking right i'll wait for these guys coming to the rest area Find yourself a spot which you feel as though is going to be beneficial for you to shoot. So what I would do in this area, so basically knowing that they're going to come to the right, I would probably be waiting, I don't know, where should I say, somewhere, somewhere here. It's pretty open view. We have got a pretty good view left and right. So I would basically be sitting here. Or crouched or laid looking in that direction and basically with hunter sense turned on i will be looking there waiting for white bubbles coming up which is the sound analysis and basically waiting for them to come now within their times within their allocated time zones they should be doing like i said an hour before or an hour after so that is basically the simplicity of it, it is not very sophisticated to use the need zones or to use how the tracking does actually work. It is pre basically pretty pretty simple. I know a lot of people do get disheartened by going, mm, what should I be doing? Where should I be going? Honestly, watch this video, which obviously you guys are doing right now. Do pass it on to friends or pass the knowledge on from what I have learned you guys. And now you guys can obviously enjoy the game to a much, much better standard without worrying. I haven't got a clue which direction they're going to come from, where they're going to be. Enjoy it, guys. But thank you very, very much, everybody, for watching this tutorial here at Rory Wellburn Gaming on YouTube. But again, just quickly, if you guys can, hit that subscription button. 
if you guys can hit the bell notification as well to be notified of all content that I do put up on the channel. And as well, do leave me a comment down below. Do give that video a massive, massive thumbs up. So thank you everybody for hanging out. I hope I have educated you guys as much as I can. If I haven't, do let me know down in the comments down below. If there's anything you guys know that I've missed, again, let me know down in the comments. But guys, that's enough for me. I hope to see you guys very soon with more awesome content. But that's it from me. From me, Rory. Here at Rory Wellburn Gaming, I'm out of here. Be good. Be well.